Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Welcome to another video reaction and guys, uh, tis the season, uh, it's my favorite time of the year, uh, the whole this season, December, when everything around you starts uh, getting a, a little bit festive, a little bit magical, the time when everywhere you look you'll see Christmas lights, decorations, uh, Santa hats, uh, reindeer uh, antlers uh, and everything else. So I thought since October was dedicated to horror films uh, due to Halloween, what better way to get into the holiday spirit than checking out some uh, holiday films, some Christmas movies throughout December. I'm very interested for you guys uh, to tell me your personal favorite holiday films, holiday movies. But the reason why I'm watching Klaus today is because I was trying to like think uh, what is a film that I've kind of heard about, haven't watched. I, I, I actually didn't think of Klaus, a buddy of mine recommended it uh, and he also told me that it instantly became one of his favorite Christmas or holiday films and uh, that surprised me because uh, I feel like our favorite holiday or Christmas movies are heavily nostalgia based uh, those would be the movies that we watched growing up, you know, during the holidays. You know, those films that we watched, uh, uh, you know, with our family, with our loved ones. And it surprised me how he told me, like, a film that he watched, like, recently, because a recent movie, it's on Netflix, uh, and it came out, I think, uh, in the last couple of years, if I'm not mistaken. So, so I was surprised that he told me that such a recent Christmas movie became one of his favorites, so I was like, you know what, I was looking for uh, a Christmas movie that I haven't watched to start these uh, Christmas reactions. Uh, I got as good of a recommendation as any, so... So guys, I am taking recommendations uh, through the month of December, uh, please let me know about your favorite Christmas movies, your favorite movies that you watch during the holidays, put it down in the comments below. I want to, first of all, see what you guys uh, enjoy watching and also, you know, take some recommendations for movies that you think I'll enjoy and you want me to check out. With that being said, guys, uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe uh, for more content if you haven't already. We are very close to 500 subscribers and that is a big milestone for the channel so uh, I really really appreciate your guys support and uh, if anybody has not subscribed but is enjoying what they're seeing with these reactions I'd really really appreciate it. Grab a hot beverage, uh, grab something uh, to snack and let's jump into Klaus guys. Okay but that's a pretty elaborate letter uh, filing situation they have going on here. The Royal Postal Academy, wow. An academy? You supposed to be in equestrian training? Mm -hmm. No worries, I've got someone covering for me. I'm enjoying the art style so far. Sooner, but yep. The drill and the colors in the background. And uh, here, why don't you finish mine? I'm not gonna be needing it anymore. Performance. It doesn't seem like he wants to be there, so why is he there? Guess I'll just go pack up and head home then. Too bad. Yes. Darn, oh darn. Dad, you're right. When will oh, I grow up? That's his father. When will I stop squandering all these opportunities. Right? You think I'm just going to watch you purposely fail and then let you waltz right back to a privileged life, void of any purpose or meaning? Smirensburg. Mm, the what? You've got one year. So this is I'm getting is going to be like a learning tale, so a learning experience for this guy. Smirensburg. Isn't that a bit excessive? The weather always like this? Eh, we're having a bit of a heat wave. <laughs> One thing I'm not looking forward to every, every Christmas and every December is the cold. To be honest with you, I do not like it. And we have been getting a surprising amount of snow the last few years in Greece as well. Charming, huh? Why, you should see it in the spring. That's when those greys really pop. What type of dystopian town? Folklore, that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely nobody lives in this. Oh, never mind. 
<laughs> She's dead. They just killed that old man. Looked like the Adams family. Yeah, definitely the Adams family. Hell over there, and uh, and then the reception will start. The bell. Yep, give it a go. <laughs> and, uh, definitely not. City, all that reception stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Where was she holding? She was holding the bathtub. What's happening? Oh, they're fighting! Oh, get up! Get up! Get up! <laughs> I'm very interested to find out the backstory of this city. Out here! Why is everybody just standing around, well, throwing in the us? <laughs> That's Rick. And Rivet, you weaseled out and rang the bell. This is some type of weird old vendetta between two different groups of families or whatever. They sent us another postman. Oh, they can laugh. That's a good sign. Why are they going after him though? Is this gonna be the love interest in this? Home of the world's finest feuds. Isn't this a school? Shouldn't there be children and a teacher? Oh yes! Oh thank you. Holy Bye. moly. That's you? Who is it? What happened? What happened was That's that came out. I wrong. took a teaching job at a place where people don't send their Okay, put down the knife and start fresh somewhere. That oh, place oh, must oh, reek. <laughs> Probably the worst smell to ever smell. Perfect for animal lovers. See, that's cool. They uh, other other mailmen have owls. He gets chickens. Show me where I'm really staying. I'd like a hot bath and look at the dinner menu. A hot bath? Did you not realize where you you just landed? There's nothing hot around you. Cold, angry, violent neighbor. This is home. Are we starting to connect the dots? Do you even have running water? Let's start from the basics. Open up a faucet, see if water comes out. Before you worry about it being like hot or not. <laughs> it's his toilet. Oh god. Good morning, madame. The letters you'd like me to send, you could go scurry ahead and get them and she only got out to like dirty somebody else. Oh, hi, hi. Laundry. Any letter or packages. Any packages. Come on. Letters. This is the the worst neighbors to ever exist. What's going on here? Where are all the letters? Oh. This man seems to be enjoying his stay in this place the most out of anybody else here. Wait, wait, wait. No letters? But how am I supposed to get You're not. And I got my drawings back. The wind blew it away. Please. Not now, kid. Mail it to you. How? Couldn't be simpler. I just fold your pretty drawing, very beautiful by the way, put it in an envelope like this, and then all that's left is posted. Couldn't you just put it in? Oh. Uh, I really, really would, don't you? Um, if you don't, I'm gonna keep it. Hmm. I love it. I would keep it if I was you, so I would send this letter back to myself if I was you. Oh, hi, Papa! <laughs> uh, <the> <laughs> that must be the express mail. You so, a wait a minute, is the voice actor Ryan Reynolds, it just hit me, letters in no time, that I bye -bye. Like, was trying to recognize his voice all this time? I just visualized, visualized uh, Deadpool in this exact situation that this character is in. Outgoing mail. So, where is it? Now you're gonna have to help me with the heavier bags. No wonder he's so happy all the time. His job is basically just sitting, doing nothing. So where does Santa tie in all of this? <laughs> I assume the mails will be Christmas mails? Or something? Is this man that he's going to visit here? Literally claws. Oh, there's a reindeer. They look majestic, by the way. Is that going to be Santa Claus? Are these toys? toys. 
Yeah, that is definitely Santa's workshop. Ah, here we go. Accomplished? Absolutely. Sweet music. Yeah, it's not gonna be bad for you. This this music is not villainous music. This is not a boss battle music. But those are skulls, so well wooden skulls, wooden heads of toys. Nah, that's that's the Santa. He's just standing there menacingly. have the drawing in there this just looks like depressed Santa it's like if everybody just stopped believing in Christmas and Santa like had no purpose in life this is where he would live and this is how his his place would look like but now he's gonna have purpose again because the child probably draw a toy? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh no, it just drew himself being sad. That's it. Where's this? What? I don't know. How would I know? Wait. I do know. All right. There. Oh. Sure thing. <clears throat> My pleasure. Nothing I'd love to do more than deliver what. I'm fairly certain can only be a severed head of some kind. <laughs> I mean, there's no way to tell a severed head. It's got. They do not want any visitors. You must be kidding. No way. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Are you, what's happening right now? So this this Santa Claus has superhuman strength as well. Okay, you win. What do you want? Money? My dad's got plenty of it. You can write him a ransom note. You can write, right? He looks so disappointed in him. Yep, up the chimney you go. <laughs> Having to deliver presents to these folk would be a terrifying proposition. Is that why Santa is depressed? Is that the first toy? that kid has ever received <laughs> that toy is alive, that's not a toy <laughs> that's a frog <laughs> she has purpose again now So standard question that I have to ask you guys, how many of you guys, when you were little, tried to stay up and catch Santa Claus as he was delivering the presents to you? And did you did you manage to do it? That's the most important question. We like to send these letters. The rumor about Santa Claus got around and now they're trying to get themselves some presents what? as well. What did you just say? It's not a letter if it doesn't have postage. You found your way out. <laughs> he just sent another old man to die. Did you, uh... <laughs> All right. Wait, there's no way there were this many children in this town, though. Hold on. <laughs> the math, the math wasn't mathing. See, this place looks a lot friendlier in the morning. Did you really have to go during the night the previous time? Mr. Klaus, it seems like word got around. Why doesn't Mr. Klaus talk? Have you have the whole barn filled with toys just sitting there. <laughs> oh god. Okay, this is it. Here it goes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he was ready to die. <laughs> he was ready. Oh, wow. Oh. That is totally normal. Not a symptom of any mental illness or anything. Mental yeah, illness? Sir. That's one of the kindest human acts I've seen. If you don't... Mr. Klaus, wait! 
The spirits are telling you to listen to him. <laughs> what? He's the chosen one? Or is a portal forming behind him? A disturbance in the forest, children laughing. Ah, they are children from different families. I turned away for one second. And then I saw it. I brought her as soon as I could, sir. That's just wrong. Oh, but you know that Crumbs and Elling bows don't mix. But why? Why? Oh, yeah. why? <laughs> See what I mean? Why? I, don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this. Is tradition. Centuries of glorious hatred passed down through generations. <laughs> but why? The great so basically, it's just a bunch of nothingness, really. As far as we can remember, it's that a crumb despises an Ellingbow, and an Ellingbow can't stand a crumb. <laughs> Me being from where I'm from, our sport feuds, among other things, are literally like this a lot of the time. <laughs> literally, just no particular reason. This type of stuff <laughs> is not too far fetched, unfortunately. <laughs> These are just Olympiacos and Panathinaikos fans, right there. But I appreciate how they showed how little, like, reason these two families have to have resulted this place in its current state. And I know this man doesn't have health insurance for this job. <laughs> That's the third old guy they've brutally murdered. Is that a little pig on top of her? Look at all these colors. She's not from here. She's Sami. Better, so please come back when you have one. Have a nice day. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Any what are letters? who are the Sami? Good. We don't know how to write. Hmm. Tough luck, kid. Wait. You know what you could do? Oh, <laughs> I forgot that she was apparently supposed to be a teacher. Telling children to go to school to learn to write. What is wrong with you? Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what I meant to listen to me. me out Imagine here. that. I've been running away here for five years, and I am so close to getting out. I'm kind of a dreamer, but isn't that why we do it? Mm hmm. Why you became a teacher so you could make a difference? Whoa. <coughs> the wimp. He could have also have just no. listened to them and write the letters for them. Couldn't he have done that? Wouldn't that have saved him a ton of time instead of him like expecting these kids to finish the school year? You want to get the credit? You're not getting the credit, sorry. If you leave your socks he Oh, and he likes cookies. Don't forget to leave out some cookies. Did you guys leave out snacks for Santa? Another important question that I need to know. About my viewers. Go home, you loser. Hmm. Are you not gonna give him one? Are you that petty? Who's a loser now, you little brat? Are we going to learn something today? <laughs> You're going to learn how to chop a fish. Okay? Look, if you have to be here, at least be quiet. Why don't you go ahead and <laughs> I love your teaching method. Right. <laughs> if you really think about it, like, this is such a sad situation for all these children. <laughs> really? That's my name? Yes, yay, it's your name. Is there no, like, like, care, love left in your heart, miss? Is she gonna use that money to, like, get them? Schooling equ equipment. Too heavy. <laughs> those 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 reindeer are majestic. Look at that mane. People would kill for that hair. I wear them down and you catch them. Good 
You're dealing with a whole different horsepower right now. <laughs> is this, now, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, this is uh, like Santa Claus' origin story. <laughs> You've been a bad child. And that's how this rumor is going to, to spread. He knows. <laughs> he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. <laughs> what type of drop was that? <laughs> oh no! My street today. This is beautiful. That's good, right? Hi, <laughs> please. And then he fell, and he hurt his leg. Not stop screaming. He <laughs> thought they were going to kill him, like they've killed so many others. Deep down, I think he did. Mr. Postman, Miss Alba is the best teacher ever. Children are so pure. Why must we taint them? Did he build all that? Wow. <laughs> this is beautiful. Arson is down seventy percent. It's true. Seventy. You saw a house burn down. Precisely. The cookouts, swap meets, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like everyone's gone mad. A true selfless act <laughs> always sparks another. I've been around long enough to know that everyone is out to get something. Those kids. Those kids are in it for the toys. Where have you been around, my guy? You've been sheltered your whole life. <laughs> what? what are you doing in our ambush? Your ambush? This is our ambush. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the myth of Santa Claus flying is going to start. <laughs> Those reindeer are terrified. Flying sleigh pulled by magical reindeer? Yep. <laughs> oh, look, it can laugh. <laughs> Mr. Resolve. Eat? I, leader of the proud crop. Get on with it already. Shut up, you idiot. I, leader. Of the proud. Oh, forget it. The mood is gone. You know why I'm calling <laughs> this meeting. Yeah. Look around, Axel. Where is your clan? Laugh parties, hay rides, and cookouts. Brunch. The horror. Don't forget about the brunches. The Not brunches. Time to join forces against a common enemy. Happiness. I'm Enjoyment of life. We need a truth. A truce! Clans are on the war path. Together! <laughs> Start fighting. Oh, gonna take a lot of work. Or you could just, like, you know, not. What is this? Like, is it like a spirit of the forest? Is that Miss Claus? Surprise! No, never mind. <laughs> Jasper? We can make the holiday even more magical. Think of the joy. Think so the hold existed, just not Santa Claus. That's very, a very interesting concept. No. Come on, work with me here. Picture the possibilities. Look. Why doesn't he want to make toys? What happened in this man's past? Get out. Klaus, I'm sorry. I I, I didn't mean. Get out! 
I'm guessing like that was like his wife or something. Well, join the club. This this little child is like the cutest nah, thing I'm ever. I'm just another irrelevant, pointless. You're not. You bring these no, children happiness. You've united the people together. But Klaus, I do. You've had more purpose here than your entire life so far. Hey, you're a pretty good listener, you know. Sorry to bother you this late, but by any chance, would you happen to understand this? Who are the Sami, though? And where do they live? How does he know their language? I mean, I know she's like supposed to, supposed to be like to have studied and stuff. Also, I'm sure this song is going to get copyrighted, but it's a nice song, a sweet song. Couldn't you have done this somewhere where, <laughs> where those wouldn't like jump right onto his face? What? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, these are the Sami people. Are they like Inuits? Or are they like the indigenous people? <laughs> yes, I'm smiling so hard. There's such a big part of this movie. A chick started to hurt. So are they were they like from the two families and they fell in love? We wanted children. Lots of them. We started making toys for them. And we waited. And I kept making toys and more toys. They never came. Oh wow. That took a sad shift. She got sick. Oh wow. It almost feels like she's still God. So No wait, what a surprisingly sad backstory, like of course, you're doing what? The Christmas thing! We're making all those toys! That's what she would have wanted. <laughs> and now she's just full on Santa voicing. And with a whole year, no time to lose. It's going, you, you're going to be with the teacher lady, and you'll find happiness here, like actual happiness, an actual purpose, making others happy. Is there a better life purpose than that? Just, the, what, what do you have accomplished here is enough. It would give like most people like such satisfaction in my opinion I know it would for me I mean look well, this is you you've done this for selfish reasons but you've done this That's it for today I thought I would give the place an update everybody knows rotting fish is so over <laughs> this is really like a story about finding your hmm? purpose like she has well, far, and then in reality like there's no Where's better purpose than helping have to be pretty stupid to want to leave this place these other now. people don't you think Oh wow, you have no idea what you've done, do you? <laughs> this is what I've been Come saying. On, I'll show you. Look at that. Now this is what I'm talking about. Like how can you not love Christmas decorations? How can you not love like this whole mood that this puts you <laughs> the Adams family again? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Quite the same place, is it? So beautiful. <laughs> These are his workers. <laughs> I figured, like, by the colors and stuff they were wearing. Hello. So Christmassy. Hi. Hanging out with an old. See, you get your name card as well. Surrounded by crazy people. <laughs> These wooden, like, uh, miniatures are like so pretty. Never wanting anything more. What more do you want in life, Jasper? People that love you, a fulfilling purpose, making others happy. Oh, that's why. That's why they had those colors. He needs to look like Santa, you know. Hello, Jasper. Dad, what? <clears throat> Sorry, let's um, let's talk outside. Whatever they told you. Well then, ready to go? Go. Where? <laughs> Home, of course. A deal's a deal. With the personal butler and the breakfast in bed and... 
my soap sheets. No one deserves it more. Am I crazy in saying, thinking? Oh, he was unbelievable. To donate their labor to. Come on. Worthy cause. Come on. See, that's why you should have fessed up early on. Oh, it's very clear. And then fess up to how you actually feel right now. Life back in the big town, something like that. But things change. I do not like this conflict. <laughs> I know that we must have it. Because at the end of the day, he did do those things, you know? And like, I feel you could tell the minute it like stopped being phony and the minute that it started being genuine. One to go. If you ask me who right <laughs> now, I <laughs> But I think I was saying like, isn't it obvious which I... life one should or were like at least like I, I shouldn't speak for for everyone like i get like the comforts and the riches and stuff but like this is the old debate about does money bring happiness and do you need it to be happy or rather do you need a lot of it to be happy she literally like had like the perfect situation She left. Hey, like, come on. Of course. He'd never been more proud of me, and he hugged me. Can you believe that? I thought. Nah, I can't. That's why he sends you there for. Yeah, sure, I'll miss it. To find you like purpose, a, a life like. Oh God, the silk sheets. Couldn't he just mail him the silk sheets? It's gonna be convincing Klaus and Alva to give me. What? What's that? The clans here. Why we were just thinking. Don't our children also deserve a present? Ways to bribe them with. Huh. How long until they turn against each other? Uh, I think like how long until they're enjoying their current state of affairs. <laughs> to be honest. Attached. Why aren't they attached? I thought they were <laughs> I would never in a million years have done what I just did if I didn't think these were attached. Who leaves the sleigh unattached like this? <laughs> she gonna save her? Mine? <laughs> yes. Built on resentment and spite. And it'll stay that way as long as a crumb or an Ellingbow. <sighs> Have something to say about it. A true act of goodwill. A true act of goodwill always sparks another. What? It's mine and the other guy. Mine. <gasps> I don't know what to say. If I hadn't. They weren't the actual toys. Oh. Shit. The presents in the sleigh were all fake. He would destroy the decoys and leave. But then you showed up and <laughs> made everything too complicated. <laughs> so all this was for nothing? No. Nah. Oh, you showed that you cared. That. <laughs> I like how the Sami people <laughs> who clearly didn't understand anything that was being said were like, yeah. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, I really like this. I really like this movie. It has everything that a good Christmas movie should have. Life went on. And Smearinsburg continued to change for the better. Poor horse. Yeah, no. Poetic. I'm quitting. Get another horse. The, the town now finally matches the mood of that guy. <laughs> Because she was ahead of them. The years went by. Now we're going to lose. What is on your face? Why you don't like it? I think it looks good on me. I'm coming, love. 
it's gonna pass the the tradition to Zesper. Beautiful visualization. Those bears nests that he built visualize like the whole idea of the film, you know? The selfish act. Nighty -night, kids. Go to sleep now. Good night. What happened to him after that? How? Why? I can't even begin to comprehend. Did he literally become Santa Claus? What I do know is that once a year, <laughs> Oh wow. He reappeared. I get to see my friend. Oh wow. Literally the origin story of Santa Claus. That's beautiful. I thought it was gonna be like a bit of a somber ending. Yeah guys, this was a really really beautiful movie. I couldn't have started uh, this month, this Christmas reactions, this holiday movie reactions in a better way. Uh, I think this this film like worked perfectly in the messages that it delivered. Yeah, I think I think the story was beautiful. Uh, the voice acting, I really enjoyed the voice acting. J.K. Simmons was playing close. I did not I did not catch that. Uh, but the voice acting was great. The animation was really nice. Uh, and most of all, like the story was a beautiful story of finding your purpose, of uh, the meaning of what is supposedly the meaning of this holiday of, of Christmas, selfless acts of like kindness, you know. Uh, I think it perfectly, like it was perfectly showcased in this movie. Just look at how that place looked after. Uh, Jasper found his purpose on, on it, on that place, and like he, he changed, I mean, millennia of hatred. And obviously, it had to happen through the children. Another great thing that this movie showcased is like we are created like so pure. Then, unfortunately, through circumstances, those little little parts of of hatred and like misery are literally put on us. Yeah, this was a beautiful film, a beautiful movie, a beautiful Christmas movie. I can see it like creeping up in my rotation of Christmas films and I'm very glad that it was recommended. I was, wasn't going to check this movie out if it wasn't recommended to me and I really, really enjoyed it, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you leave your recommendations of uh, the holiday films, Christmas films uh, that you'd like me to check out. Of course, uh, I'd like to hear your favorite. Also, uh, just 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 a general message because I think that it's important. As much as you know, the whole decision brings a lot of happiness and a lot of joy and a lot of good feelings to a lot of us. Uh, it brings also just as negative feelings sometimes to people that maybe don't associate the holidays with the same things that we do. Uh, and they, this can be really tough times uh, for those people. So uh, just just like this movie showed, a small act of kindness goes a long way. I'd like to urge anybody that, was, that is watching this, uh, if you, you, you can go out of your way to do that, especially during this time of year, it can really help a lot of people and I think a lot of people would appreciate it. But that's it for me. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed the reaction and I'll see you all in the next reaction video. Have a good one. Bye.